music from DJ Ted there. Welcome back, everyone. You're looking at live drone footage from our 8 News Now aviator of Allegiant Stadium. This is a good day, and we are counting down the days to the first game here, as many of you are. We have team coverage for Raiders Fan Day. Ron Futrell is live at the Raiders practice facility. But first, let's go right to Kevin e. Martin with the very latest on Allegiant Stadium. Kevin? E. Hey, Brian, and happy Raiders Fan Day. And what better way to celebrate Raider Nation? Uh, you know, what better location, actually, than right here at the soon-to-be new Raiders home, Allegiant Stadium. And let's take a look at the latest updates as far as construction goes. You know, about two weeks ago, they installed the natural turf. The massive field is uh, ruled out on a tray on the stadium and has a fresh layer of natural grass turf for Raiders home games. And then yesterday, crews began installing the artificial turf that UNLV, of course, will play its home games on. And then the next big project is the installation of the digital board. Of course, the Raiders nailed down their two preseason home dates, hosting the Cardinals on August 27th, and then the Rams on the 3rd of September. And then, of course, the date that everyone has circled on their calendar, September 21st, the home opener for the regular season here at Allegiant Stadium, Monday Night Football against the Saints. I know for a fact Raiders fans are going to be excited for that one. Reporting live at Allegiant Stadium, Kevin e. Martin, 8 Sports Now. All right, thanks, Kevin. E. I still can't believe that natural grass out there. Meantime, across town at the Raiders practice facility in Henderson, Ron Futrell has the latest on the silver and black making their presence known here in the Valley. Hi, Ron. Hi there, Denise. Yes, it's hard to miss this mammoth facility behind us here. Near St. Rose Parkway and near the Henderson Executive Airport here in Henderson. Now, they plan to be in this building, the Raiders do, by next month, of course, depending on what the NFL says on when players and uh, office staff can move into the building. Some numbers on this building as we take a look at it behind us here. The aviator drone flew above it earlier today. It costs $75 million. 300 people will work here. There's three outdoor practice facilities, two and a half indoor, 150 seat theater. You see football players, they like to watch movies. They have to watch movies, okay? It's part of their job. Also, there's a cafe that will be open to the public. Now, going into the season, the Raiders were planning a mini camp in Napa, California in the middle of June. Then a training camp also in Napa beginning the end of July. But with California still in the lockdown, those camps could be moving here to Henderson. So we'll have the ability to go to Napa if we choose to go to Napa. We'll have the ability to come here if it makes sense to come here. That's really going to be up to John and Mike to decide what's best for the football team. It's up to the, the organization, the business side, and, and Mark's direction to provide optionality. And that's what we've done. And we'll wait and see what, what the right decision is and, and make it when the time comes. Now, construction is still underway at the facility here in Henderson. Should be done next month. But when the NFL goes and allows full staff into their offices. The big question is, no word on when that will happen, but that should be coming soon. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have more with the Raiders. Jay Schrader is going to be joining us live out here in the heat of Henderson to talk about the former Raiders quarterback, about the Raiders coming here to town. Reporting live from Henderson, Ron Futrell, 8 Sports Now. Ron, we're looking forward to that. Thanks, Ron.